What's up, my Fina loves? It's Miss Fina D coming to you all from Fina Entertainment News. So Cardi B hopped on Instagram Live to talk about her body, motherhood, postpartum, all of that. Before we get into her Instagram Live, she also hopped on Twitter to talk about all of the recent rumors that's going around and people lying on her about being with, you know, certain men and this and that. So I love this approach that she took on Twitter and then after that I will play the Instagram live and just a quick warning I will do my best to bleep out and mute the profanity but you know Cardi be going in so if I miss anything I apologize in advance let's get into it hi guys how are you guys what are you guys doing I just want to tell you guys, <laughs> I just want to tell you guys something, right? The internet is insane. This, this, all these rumors are so fucking crazy. That's why I don't want to address it because I feel like shit is funny. I'm going to just let it, I'm going to just let it ride out because I think it's cute. It's funny. And I'm going to let people think what they want to think. Um... Let me know if, if I should throw a party this Saturday because I really don't want to do nothing for my birthday. So I don't even want to get dressed for my birthday. Like, I just want to be in f bed. Like, the way that I have been on the go, party, work, uh, meetings, I don't want to do anything but be in bed. But then all my friends is like, oh, no, you should go out. We need to go out. You should throw a party. You're single. You're this. You're that. We need to have fun. You need to live your life. So, I don't know. Should I throw a party? I don't know. And also, don't pay attention to these. Don't pay attention to the bullshit to the bitches online. Yeah. I got a lot of surprises coming up. Everything is lining up perfectly. Um, And everything is coming out right. So, yeah. Just wanted to say that. Bye. Life because like a lot of people I want to I want to talk about real, realistics and I want to think so I'm not kidding when I put this on my daughter there has been how much how many two celebrities two celebrity females they have been hitting me up because everybody is like raving about my my bounce back body like oh your body your body your bounce back your this this and that and what you've been doing i've been seeing now a lot of uh people on social media talking about that i i, I got surgery or some shit like that and it's like with all my three pregnancies i never got surgery after uh i have a baby first of all i'm gonna make this very clear any doctor that performs surgery after you have a baby they should be in jail. You got to wait at least six months to do surgery after you give birth. Like, you have, you lose so much blood while you give birth. It shouldn't, you should never do that. Not only that, your uterus is, is retracting. So, I always want to give you, you, you women advice at that because a lot of y'all just think like, oh, you give birth and, and you do surgery. Any doctor that does that needs to be in fucking prison. I love surgery, but I do not condone that. Don't ever be that desperate. Don't ever be that thirsty. It's never that serious, sis. Like, wait your six months. But anyways, like people talking about this whole bounce back thing with my body. Uh, first thing first. And people be asking me advice. We all have different bodies. We all have different bodies. So don't ever put pressure on yourself. Me, I'm naturally skinny. And um, if people that went to school with me and high school with me, I always, I always been too skinny. So my issue always been gaining weight. And to some people be like, oh, um... There ain't no issue with that. We, I, I wish I had that issue. And it's like, when you have that issue, it's not that simple because I hate losing weight. I like to be, my my goal weight is always 145 pounds. Like, I want to be 145. Um, 
but whatever. But to any of you women that are asking me for advice on like how you to have like a bounce back body or whatever the crap. Besides the fact that I got lipo, um, you know, I, I had lipos before. But I really do lipos is because I like my shape. It's not to stay slim. It's because I like a nice guitar shape. You know what I'm saying? I like to be, I, nobody's perfect, but I like to be close to perfect. I like to be a video. I like to have a vixen look. But to the women out there that be trying to ask for advice from me, I'm going to tell you this. I wear my faja literally, I'll say about 20 hours a day. I wear my faja 20 hours a day and um, I wear a board with the faja for like eight hours. And the reason why I do the board in the front is so my stomach and my skin could be flat because I'm, I'm slim right now, but my skin is a little loose. I want my, my, my skin to retract nicely. I put my file on because I lose weight fast and I don't want, and my ass got very, very big again. So once I lose weight fast, I don't want my ass to drop and I don't want my skin to get extra, extra loose on my stomach and on my back. So I compress myself. Second, for the ones that are having issues losing weight, I know there's like Ozempic right now, but not everybody can use like Ozempic or whatever, or whatever the crap. I never take an Ozempic. Like I said, I actually have issues with gaining weight. But if you're trying to lose weight, the healthy way for me is to drink coffee two times a day so it could curve your appetite and keep yourself busy. Keep yourself busy all fucking day. Because if you don't stay busy, you're going to want to eat. So the day before, do a planner, stay busy. By the time it's 4 or 5 p.m., that's when you have your first meal. Like, literally in Paris, it was so hard for me to eat because I was working every single minute. By the time it, it was 6 o'clock, I'm like, damn, I haven't really eaten nothing but an apple. So... Keep yourself busy, keep your mind busy, and that's what's going to help you not want to eat, eat too much so you can lose your weight. Also, um, um, the Stairmasters is such a good workout for you to lose weight or to get your body right or correctly. I started working out like, I'll say one week after giving birth. And the reason why this time I worked out so quickly is because I don't know what it was, but this baby was not hard for me at all. Like I get, I popped this baby out. Like I have taken shits a little bit harder than the than what I pushed. Like this baby just popped right out. Like it's like I was having a conversation and out of nowhere I, f I felt like I felt like a little. Sh sh I'm like, damn, yo, I feel like that's my baby head. Next, you know, my doctor checks my little puss and I'm already ten centimeters. Like I push, I push the baby in seven minutes, and when I gave birth, like no lie, in one day I had such a burst of energy. I wanted to conquer the world, but my other pregnancies, it wasn't like that. Like when I gave birth to my son, it took me a minute to like even walk. He was a big head motherfucker. His big head ass literally broke my, my, my pussy, my bones, everything. And my daughter, she teared me. Like, I teared. I had to get stitches with my daughter. So not every pregnancy is the same. And not we don't all have the same bodies. Allow yourself to heal. Once you start feeling like your pelvis is, is fine, I think, like, y'all should start, like, doing cardio. And then three weeks later, like, you could start doing, you know, heavy lift, like liftings and stuff like that. But everybody just been asking me for all these advices and shit. And that's what I want to tell you, ladies. And I hope that shit work. Also, I've been getting massages by Lorality. And one of the reasons why I get massages from her is because I don't want to have fibrosis lines. But um, massages really work. And if some of you ladies... 
can afford massages to mold your body, buy one of those wooden things. It literally costs like $5 on Amazon and just start like, if your arms you feel like they got big, just <laughs> massage your own self with the, with the wooden cup. Massage your back, massage your thighs, massage your 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 uh, stomach, massage everything. But while you massaging yourself with those wooden wooden cups, you gotta put a file on because while you do that, you have you your skin is getting loose. You 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 molding yourself, but your skin is getting loose. Faha is very very important. Putting your faha, putting your Waist trainers, putting your board is very important. So, yeah. Also, ladies, let's be kind to each other. Because I honestly feel like social media, we have gotten in this culture that you guys are doing witch hunts, witch hunts on women. They have BBLs. And I want to say this. I could literally take three hours of my day. And look through a hundred profiles and post all you bitches and drag ya. And I talk about bitch, stop fat shaming people, stop skinny shaming people, because I will drag you bitches down. But I don't really want to do that. I don't want to do that. But stop doing that. If somebody decides to get a BBL like me, if I decide to get a, a BBL, it's not because I'm insecure or anything. I just really love the vixen bodies. Like, I love a nice vixen body. I love that. It's not because I'm insecure. All my life, I already always knew I had a nice little frame on me. I had six packs at 18 years old. Like, but we need to be more kind with each other. Like, and, and, and. It's becoming like a, a natural versus BBL shit. And it's like, y'all need to stop. Y'all need to stop doing that shit. Because if I stop, dr start dragging, then I'm wrong. If I start saying, bitch, you look, you look like you built an ice maker, then I'm wrong. If I say, bitch, you built like a co stick, then I'm wrong. We need to be more kind with each other. Leave me alone. I don't want to, I don't want to say you bitches look like fucking sack of potatoes or none of that shit. Um... Y'all always want body positivity when it comes to y'all. If you got three stomachs, y'all want body positivity. Y'all want people to love y'all and accept y'all. If you fucking got, if you fucking built like La Cienega, man skinny with big feet, y'all want body positivity. Y'all want body positivity to all. All right, so be, have body positivity towards me. I'm not bothering nobody. Leave women alone. Y all, y all, and, and, and the worst enemies is women to other women. Why do y'all do that shit? Stop tearing other women down. Let people do what they want to do. It's your body. It's your life. It's your money. I bet you if I do a BBL giveaway, I bet you if I pay for 10 bitches BBLs, y'all wouldn't have nothing bad to say about BBLs. Leave, a, leave people alone. And, and then y'all be like, oh, bitches with BBLs, they think they're all that after they pay, after they pay to look like that. And it's like, yo, you barely see bitches with BBLs or them vixens in the comments. Talking shit. We need to stop putting each other down. That ass. Seriously, y'all. And also... For people that's like, oh, Cardi, you keep going to the clubs and ain't you supposed to be with your baby? Well, I'll be with my baby all day. I'll be with my baby all day. I need to go out. I'm, I'm going through a divorce right now. If I stay home and, 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 and fucking depress myself, that's just going to drive me crazy. That's why I'm working and the weekends I'm going out with my girls. So stop. I don't ever want to go through a postpartum depression ever again. And I'm avoiding that. So, yeah. Yeah, somebody said we mind our BBO business. Yeah, I never see a bitch with a BBO in the comments talking shit. Oh, yeah. By the way, another thing that I'm doing a lot is, yo, I love soda. I love soda. I'm not really a juice person. I love soda, but I'm not really... 
drinking soda as much as I do. I drink water all day long. The only time that I drink soda is when I feel like I'm, drink I'm getting a headache. So, if, oh, by the way, there's a little trick, guys. If you get a migraine, what if you drink a tight if you drink Tylenols or etc. If you drink it with Coca Cola, it, the the medicine will work faster. But I'm not really drinking a lot of a soda. I, I I I could go a long time without drinking soda now. Drink water, ladies. You gotta piss all that shit out. So yeah, um. So yeah, um. Damn, I had a time last night. Folks say I use both legs. <laughs> Yo, let me tell you something else. So, I'm noticing that the clubs, they're not selling honey like that anymore. I think that, like, drinking honey now is, like, the ghetto shit. And I really hate this generation because... I'm really a Henny drinker. Like I'm like I'm like my daddy bitch. Like that's why my daddy named my sister Hennessy. But I really feel like people that's thirty and over really enjoy Hennessy, and this generation is full of tequila sippers. I hate that. I what what? So you mean, why do y'all like tequila so much? I really try to love and like tequila, but that should be having me sleepy. I need to be up. I need to be up. So, uh, Don Julio and Repo, the new wave, girl. I can't get in that wave, baby. I need that brown. I need that brown. I like my liquor like I like my men and my bitches. Nice and brown. So I say, get off the Don Julio, like the Julio. No, I do not like no Don Julio, no fucking light liquor. I don't like no light skin liquor. I don't like no light skin liquor. Give me straight Henny. Henny shots will give you back shots. <laughs> nah, but no, no bullshit though. I feel like people like me that's over 30 years old love their, their Henny. Is you f that like that light liquor? You young, little twenty and some shit ass. And I don't want to see no over thirty acting like y'all don't f like uh henny and shit. You if you over thirty and you acting like you don't like henny, you a f guy and you trying to f be down with the trend. Cause you grew up drinking f henny, bitch. Grew up drinking fireball, bitch. Stop acting fucking bougie, bitch. Y'all not gonna have me out here in the club being the only one that's drinking Henny. I'm sick of you. Wanna act like I only drink tequila. I only drink tequila. Tequila's whack. That should be having me sleep, bitch. That's why you bitches can't suck. You bitches, you bitches suck sleepy. Tequila make you sleepy. That shit don't put you on demon time, bitch. Now, Henny, bitch. Henny, <laughs> Henny be weird to me though because when I start drinking Henny, I be active. I wanna fight. Then I wanna suck it. All right. Somebody said, "Do you see what Vice Guard said about you?" Yo, I have to hit a Russian. Because I want to make the most perfect, beautiful, amazing song with Vibes Cartel. He's really my favorite artist. Like, he's he's literally my number one artist. Uh, my favorite, 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 favorite artist in the whole wild fucking world. Vibes Cartel, he's my favorite, 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 favorite artist. going through a I'm getting out of here uh. Thank you
you all for your love and support. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up. Also, turn on notifications so when I do post, you're aware that I post it. And I will see you all in the comment section. Remember to always have the God bless attitude, which is being positive at all times and seeing the good in every situation. Have a great day, guys. God bless.